I'm a record producer and a songwriter. Growing up in Peterborough, Ontario, especially in the 1970s, I wasn't really aware of the music business. So I just knew that I loved music and I never knew that I could do it for a living. I applied for this grant, but a year later I got a letter saying, you got it, and it was enough money for me to come here to Los Angeles, and I wanted to study with uh, two people, um, a great piano teacher named Terry Trotter, and an amazing arranger and musician and composer named Claire Fisher. Anytime you hear strings, violins, and a Prince track, it's this guy, Claire Fisher. He's a sort of a genius, and it was amazing to hook up with both of these guys. And some of the early things I did here was Barbie commercials, Campbell's Soup commercials, then I played with Katie Lang for three years. We played three nights at Radio City Music Hall, three nights at Albert Hall in London. I wanna talk to you. Have you some people chops and be respectful to people. And you wind up creating your own luck. I think luck is more in our individual power than we realize. You know, studying your favorite records, studying the best records ever made. But I can tell when I get submissions from people that are, that are even way down the road and have done the homework. And if you do that work, Music 180 is going to be your best friend. I have a very psychotic discography. It goes all over the place from pop artists like Katy Perry or Pink or this young girl Orianti who's just come out with Michael Jackson's guitar player, Adam Lambert, to heavy rock music like the Deftones or even death metal music like this brilliant artist Otep. To jazz, I just did Jamie Collum's new record. You know, I once arranged 90-piece orchestra and choir for Pope John Paul II. I've worked with Rufus Wainwright, with Colby Calais, with Mika, who isn't that big in this country, but he's massive in every other country. I am about to start producing a rapper from Brooklyn named Theophilus London, who's an incredible talent. Katie had the luxury of a lot of a &R development with lots of input from lots of people. To me, that is the unquantifiable benefit of Music 180. You can get that kind of feedback from people with those kind of minds and ears without being signed to them. And I recently did one for a band called Skyrocket Love. I had a three-song critique. They're a really good band. And I listened to uh, all the songs two or three times. Just having done this for so long, I can sort of tell what I like about it based on a gut reaction, not a cerebral neck up reaction. It's very much here. The, the artist or the band is welcome to take my two cents and do whatever they want with it. They may disagree with me, they may agree. But that's that's how I operate. It's uh, that's how I produce records. The talent doesn't grow on trees. It's really hard to find. And so when it pops up, um, you know, make it easy for me, too, to find out about you. Had I had access to something like this, it could have really been a, not just a game changer, but a life changer. Hi, I'm Greg Wells. I am on Music 180. Send me your stuff. I want to hear it. Bye.